What a beautiful scenery. And this can be done, all the sightseeing for free. Uh, people can go to the water parks, amusement, like some amusement parks or just parks and pay money. But here in Sri Lanka, the nature is so beautiful. Wild and, uh, and quite untouched. There are many like fruit trees, like jackfruit. No one <laughs> takes it and other fruits. And now we are going to some place, people recommend it, but we don't know where, what is there. But they say it's a nice place to swim also. It's a beautiful Christa creation, so amazing. And I decided not to swim, but my husband will. I'm sure. Uh, the consciousness of a human being is compared with water. And now I would like to tell you why it's so important to read Shastras, spiritual scriptures. It's because of a consciousness, uh, when it's pure, it, it can be clean and you can see the bottom, you can see uh, the truth. Uh, but mostly mundane people who are observed with desires, anxieties and uh, different things that make their mind un uh, unconscious and not calm you cannot see what is reality and what is truth so that's why as we clean our body our hands daily it is important to read shastras which purify our consciousness and by doing this we can understand the goal of life and the truth yeah so we have Bhagavad Gita as it is and Srimad Bhagavatam which we are supposed to read daily and enjoy and this is the real happiness in life uh, because we know how to live, what to avoid in our life and the great examples uh, are given in Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita is told by Krishna so uh, by reading it we can be truly happy and understand what is right, what is not right and what is true happiness, what is love?